In this video, we will learn how to set up a Lightroom catalog and create a shortcut for opening that catalog in the future. Uh, I'm going to start by opening up my external hard drive and you will see that I've created a folder already in this external drive with my full name. Inside that I have a folder called Camera Files, a folder called Exports, and a folder called Library. Camera Files is where all of my images will go. These will be organized into folders that are named for my last name, the course number, and the assignment number. I've already created these folders. You can always create them or create more of them later. Exports is where the completed assignments will go once we have finished and we have exported a catalog from Lightroom. And Library is where we will establish the all-important library catalog file or LRCAT file. So having shown you that, I'm going to start up Lightroom, and the first time I start up Lightroom, I would do it like you might expect to. I will find Lightroom either in the dock of the computer, or I can open up any finder window, go to Applications, and locate Lightroom in my applications. This is the only time I'm going to start up Lightroom by just simply double-clicking it or clicking it in the dock. From here on out, we will use a different method for starting Lightroom that will help ensure that the Lightroom catalog we open is our main Lightroom catalog and is not a default catalog or some assignment catalog. And I'll explain why that's so important in, uh, later on in the video. So the first time Lightroom opens, if you look at the very top of the screen, you'll see that up here in the bar, it says Lightroom Catalog. That's the name of this catalog. That's a default catalog. That's not going to be my catalog. Now you may notice also that over here, it says my name. If you see your name up here, don't worry about it. You may see your name. You might see it just say Lightroom. Um, that does not ensure that you are open in your personal catalog. What's really important is the name up here in the middle of that bar. Now this is an empty default catalog. We're first going to go to the File menu and to New Catalog. Where are we going to put this new catalog? Well, we're going to navigate to our external drive right here. And I'm going to find that folder that I created and hopefully you created called uh, my, my name, your name. And now I'm going to go to the library folder. And this is where the catalog will be built. And I'm going to give this also my name. The nice thing about giving it your name is it's going to be unique to you. And you're going to see that name appear at the top of your Lightroom every time you open it, if you open it properly. And I will say create. And now Lightroom behind the scenes is restarting and it's creating the uh, LRCAT file and some other ancillary files that you'll need to run Lightroom. Now that catalog file that it's creating, think of it like the catalog that helps you find books in a library. It's kind of a directory that will tell um, the Lightroom application where all of the different images you have are, things that you've done to them, ways that you've organized them. It's very important. And that LR catalog file has a name. And you will see now that Lightroom has opened again. The name at the top bar here is my personal name. So every time I start up Lightroom, I always look up here to make sure that it says my name, that it doesn't just say Lightroom catalog, which would be a default catalog. It doesn't say uh, some kind of assignment catalog that I've act already exported and I don't want to open again. It says my name. That's really important. Before I go any further, I'm going to set a few preferences and then I'm going to close Lightroom and restart it a different way. So we're going to go to the Lightroom menu and to preferences. And there's a few tabs across the top here. There's two that I think are really important. First is presets. We go to presets and we're going to check this box right here, store presets with this catalog. This way, if we create any presets within Lightroom, those presets will be stored on our external drive 
along with our Lightroom catalog. So if we go to work on another computer, the presets should be there with us, as opposed to the local computer where we first created them. The next thing I'm gonna do is I will click on External Editing tab. And this is for future opening of images into Photoshop. Um, the file format really is a personal preference. Both of these will do, and both of them support layers, which is important for us in Photoshop. I'm gonna leave this as TIFF. Color space is quite important. Um, Profoto sounds really good, but it's a really large color space and often too large to display colors accurately with our monitors and to print those colors. So we prefer to edit in Adobe RGB 1998. The bit depth, we're gonna set to 16 bits per component or channel. The resolution, we're gonna keep at 240 pixels per inch. And the compression, we're gonna change from zip to none. At this point, I'm gonna close my preferences and I'm going to quit Lightroom. So I'm going to go to Lightroom, quit Lightroom Classic. And if you get this message, do you really want to quit? Yes, I do. If you don't want to see that message again, you can click Don't Show Again. Okay, now, we had created this Lightroom catalog, but where did it get created, and how can we open Lightroom again in the future? If you open your external drive, and you go to that folder with your name on it, and now go to library, you'll see another folder with your name on it, and inside that folder are a few different files. This one right here with the dark blue icon is the really important file. This is your LRCAT file. That is the catalog itself. That's the directory of all of the images that you import. Now, if I was to double click this file, Lightroom would start up and more importantly, it's going to start up with my catalog, with this catalog, and that's really great. That makes sure that I don't accidentally import my next images to some other kind of catalog if I'm not paying attention. But it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get to this file because you have to go through all of these nested files. So what I suggest doing is once you've created Lightroom and you find this file, right click on that file and choose Make Alias. This alias is basically a shortcut to get to this file that you want. Uh, you can rename this alias anything you want. I'm not going to. I'm simply going to hit return so that it finishes that renaming. And I'm going to drag this alias to two different places. First, I'm going to drag this right onto my desktop. If you're on a local computer, your home computer, this is really handy to have a little shortcut to open up Lightroom right there on your desktop. The other place I'm going to drag this icon is onto the hard drive itself. And you can drag this a few different ways. You could simply drag it over to the name of the hard drive there in the left-hand column. You could drag it over to the hard drive on your desktop. However you do this, you're basically putting this shortcut at the top directory structure, top directory level of your hard drive. So how is this helpful to you? Let's say you show up in class at a school computer or your home computer, and it's time to start Lightroom. You can do this a few ways. If you have this shortcut alias right on your desktop, well, all you have to do is double click that alias, Lightroom is starting up, and that alias is taking Lightroom to the catalog that you created, named for you, and once it gets started, we will see here that up at the top, sure enough, there is my name. I know that that is my catalog. That is my main catalog that keeps track of all of my images. It's not a default catalog. It's not an assignment catalog. I'm going to hit quit on Lightroom and show you that you can do the same exact thing by simply going into your hard drive because if you were at a school computer, you might not have an alias on that desktop. But if I go into my hard drive, here is that same alias on my hard drive. And if I double click that, it also starts up Lightroom with my catalog. And that is the way you should open Lightroom from here on. Do not simply go to the icon in the dock. Do not simply go into the applications folder and open Lightroom because you're likely going to get a default catalog or be prompted to create a new catalog and you can get into a lot of 
headaches and hassle by creating new catalogs or by accidentally working in a default catalog. Okay, so now that this catalog is open again, I will show you, and I always check up here at the top, it says my name. This should say your name. It should not say Lightroom catalog. It should not say assignment five or something else that you may have exported when you've completed a, an assignment. Now that we have this, I'm gonna hit quit again, and the next video will show you about how to import images using Lightroom and the best way for moving your files onto your hard drive and using Lightroom to import them. So I'm gonna quit Lightroom right here and see you in the next video.